Hi folks and welcome back. Maggie and I are out for an overnight camp tonight. Um, I managed to drive quite close to where we camped in the Land Rover, which meant I didn't have to carry stuff very far, which is just as well because I've got all my heavy gear with me. <laughs> I've got my uh, big heavy canvas baker tent, which I've just set up. I bought a, a comfortable chair. Um, I've bought some cast iron for cooking, things like that. Things that I wouldn't want to bring normally if, um, if I was carrying it any distance. So it's really good. We're gonna have a nice, comfortable night. It's a beautiful spring day. The sun's shining, there's a few clouds about, but uh, it's lovely to see all the leaves are just starting to come out on the trees, absolutely beautiful. And I'm camped just here on the edge of the woodland so I can see out across the fields and see the sunshine. Really nice. Yeah, we've got some nice food to cook later on. Um, really looking forward to it. Just a bit of a bit of R&R &R with, my, with my best buddy Mags. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I've uh, cut up a load of firewood. There's quite a few branches and things uh, in this woodland just caught up in trees. So I've taken a few of those, including one really nice uh, piece of oak, which I've, which I've cut up. Um, I did bring wood with me as well. I bought, I bought some logs purely because um, I don't want to strip this woodland of, of all the firewood. You know, it's nice to save some for future camps. I do come to this spot fairly regularly. Um, Maggie's been pretty happy just snoozing on her bed while I've been cutting this wood up which is good, she's happy, she's content. Um, I'm gonna get the fire lit fairly soon. I'm getting quite thirsty and I, and I really want a cup of tea. So I'm gonna uh, get that lit fairly soon. I think I've probably got enough firewood here for um, most of the evening, but there's quite a few bits uh, lying around that are close by. So if I need more, I can kind of gauge it, um, you know, as the evening goes on. If I need to cut up some more, I can easily do that. I'm gonna have my fire under the porch of the tent, just, just on the edge, kind of half under, half not. Um, these tents are designed to have campfires under them. They're also known as campfire tents. Um, so I'm gonna have my fire there and it'll kind of reflect that heat around and keep us nice and cozy in this porch area this evening. I'm just gonna lay a few sticks out as a platform and that'll keep my fire up off the cold ground. And then I'll put a piece along the back to act as a brace and I can lean all of my 
um, my fine twigs, my, my kindling up against that. And then I'm just going to use a wood wall bundle as my tinder. Oh yes, I um I forgot my milk. <laughs> I normally have milk and tea. Completely forgot it, but it's still nice. Um, the clouds have started to roll in a bit. It's still still nice, you know. It's still really mild. Um, I'm obviously getting the heat from the from the fire as well. <coughs> it will certainly be um, toasty and warm in here in here tonight. That's for sure. And through the evening, canvas tents are warm anyway. Plus, I've got Maggie in with me, so um you know she's like a radiator anyway. And uh, she'll she'll keep us both warm. That's for that's for sure. Um, I noticed uh, a bit of damage on the tent. Th those of you who've been watching for a while know I made this tent, um, but I didn't allow um, enough for shrinkage. I had this tent up in my garden for about a year during the first lockdown, or well, certainly a, a lot of months anyway. Um, and uh, the canvas shrunk, but my poles. Uh, there's no adjustment on them, they were just rigid and it just tightened up so much that it tore the canvas in a couple of places which I'm going to have to repair. I've since cut the poles down a bit so that um, you know they, they fit better now and I don't think it will shrink anymore. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a shame but that's what it is. I'm sure I can repair it. Yeah, really looking forward to this evening. Got some, um, got some nice food to cook um, which I'll get on with uh, a, little, a little bit later on. Yeah, really looking forward to that, and just um, just to have a bit of a bit of a relax. Bought a couple of beers to have, and just just going to chill. Be really nice. Spend some time with Maggie. Um, she's she's getting on a bit. Maggie is now. She's she's ten, ten and a half years old, um, which is it's kind of about about the age that newfies get, really. You know, um, so anything beyond now really is a is a bonus. But she's really slowed down. She she sleeps a lot. And she's, um, you know, she's stiff and achy. You can tell that when she gets up and she moves around, you know, she's got quite a bit of arthritis that's sort of set in. She doesn't seem to be in any pain, but she is, you know, her mobility is just not what it, what it used to be. And she certainly can't walk any distance, you know, which is one of the reasons I've driven up here. Um, aside from the fact I didn't want to carry all my heavy gear, you know, a, a long walk, Maggie's just not up for it. So, um, yeah just a chilled a chilled uh, night out and she's fine yeah
I've just put some of those bits of oak on. I'm gonna let the fire build up and then get some good embers going on. Um, it's just gone five o'clock and um, I'm gonna get dinner on the go. I'm doing Hunter's chicken. Um, I bought my Dutch oven with me, which is why I need the coals. Um, I'm gonna need to load them on the top to you know, create that oven effect so you get that all round heat. I'm gonna use my four and a half quart Dutch oven and I'm gonna put a trivet inside it because I don't want the chicken to burn. If I cook it straight on the bottom of here, it's just gonna be too hot, it'll burn. Um, I haven't got my tripod, so I haven't got the adjustment. I'm just gonna put this straight on the grill. Um, if I use that trivet the correct way up on its legs there, um, I think it's gonna to be too high. I'm gonna cook the chicken in my plate here and it's gonna put it very close to the top there. You know, there's not gonna be a lot of room between the coals and the top. So I don't want it to burn on the top either. So what I'm gonna do is put it in upside down and the plate will just rest <laughs> on those little lugs there. And that will just keep it more in the middle. So I'll have heat from underneath because it will be on the grill. And then I'll load coals on the top there and I'll get that top heat as well. So I'm just gonna put that on to, to heat up while I get the chicken ready. So Hunter's chicken is basically uh, chicken, normally chicken breast, uh, wrapped in bacon and then cooked and then smothered in barbecue sauce and cheese. That's the kind of English version. <laughs> um, I prefer to use um, chicken thighs. So these are thigh fillets without the bone in. I just think there's a lot more flavor in thigh than there is in the breast. It doesn't dry out so much. I just prefer it. So um, yeah, I've got five of them there, which I'm gonna share with Maggie. And then I've got some streaky bacon and I'm just gonna um, wrap each one in two two uh, rashes of bacon. Just uh, wrap it around and um, they'll cook in that. And then I'll add the uh, barbecue sauce and the um, cheese towards the end. Yum. So they'll just cook like that. I'm just wiping my hands with an antibacterial wipe. Um, you can't be too careful when you've been handling raw chicken. I certainly don't want to make myself ill. While that's doing its thing, I'm gonna do my chips. I've got one baking potato here, which should be enough. I'm just gonna shallow fry these. They're gonna be kind of like your normal sort of like cubey potatoes, you know, but chip shaped. This knife is a little bit on the small side. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, the chicken is cooked through. That's had uh, 25 minutes. Time to get some barbecue sauce on it. And grate some cheese over it. And it's just starting to rain. <laughs> we were not due any rain at all. I'll have to see how that goes. If that turns into anything more than a shower, I might have to move this fire back. There we go, a bit of cheese on there. Lovely. And get that back on. Pretty happy with my with my chips too. They're looking good. Oh yes. I'm just cutting Maggie's up just so it can cool a bit before she has it and I'll mix it in with her her normal dog food. It'll just be a little extra, a little treat, some bacon and some chicken, barbecue sauce, bit of cheese. Maggie loves cheese. <laughs> I know you shouldn't give dogs too much, but you know, she's getting on, why can't she have a little treat? That's what I say. Right then. Hmm. Chips are good. Let's try this hunter's chicken. Yum. <laughs> That was really good. And what a change to be eating while it's still still daylight. <coughs> Normally, yeah, I'm cooking in the dark and eating in the dark. <coughs> yeah, it's a lovely thing about these um, evenings drawing out now. Got a bit more a bit more time in the evening. It's nice.
I've just opened my second beer. I only bought two with me and I was saving this one for my for my second because it's my favourite. Um, I used to be able to get these from Morrison's and then they stopped doing them. This is Smash and Grab from Vocation Brewery. Really nice double IPA. Really sort of citrusy and lovely. Um, yeah, they stopped doing them and then uh, I went in the other day and there they were, but they've changed the can, <laughs> which is possibly why I didn't recognise them. They probably stocked them for ages. But I didn't realise because it's now in a pink can. Mm. Really nice. Um, I had a bit, in it, bit of an issue with smoke in here. Um, when I first set up, it was perfect. The wind was blowing in, in such a way that the smoke was just being taken um, away from the front of the, of the tent and it was, it was perfect. No, no smoke was coming in at all. And then as the evening's gone on, it's sort of switched around. Um, I've just dropped down this side of the, of the tent here, this sort of side wing, um, just undone it at the top and then folded it over the guy line. So it's kind of a triangle open now and that's sorted it right out. So now there's there's a bit of flow and uh, the smoke's being taken away, which is good. Yeah, that is a nice thing about these tents. They're, they're quite versatile. You know, you can have one side up or the other and um, just play around with it depending on what the, the wind is doing. Yeah, that's lovely. Fire, keeping me nice and warm. Maggie's got into the tent now. She's, um, she's fast asleep. Um, that's one of the reasons I didn't set my sleeping gear up. Um, I'll do that just before bed because I knew she'd be in and out and otherwise she just walks all over my sleeping bag and more importantly over my um, air mattress and she'll just puncture it with her claws. Yeah, so I'll set that up just before bed. That'll be that'll be fine. She's, she's fast asleep anyway. I think she's quite enjoyed being out. Um, you know, she's, yeah, she's sort of slept but she does that anyway, you know. Just be nice, just sort of be next to me. Had some nice food and it's been good, yeah. Yeah, I really like this little spot here. It's really quiet. It's, it's not too far away from quite a busy road, but the wind, um, the prevailing wind direction kind of carries the sound of that road away and you don't hear it at all. I've just uh, set up our beds. Um, I've blew up my air mattress with one of those uh, horrible USB pump things. Um, <laughs> they just make such a horrible noise. Um, it is quick. It's, it's certainly a lot less effort than, than pumping it up with a, with a pump sack, but I wish they'd make one that was quiet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm set up um, at the back of the tent. I've got my um, my sleeping bag and my pillow and everything. And then uh, Maggie's got the lion's share of the of the tent because she, you know, well, she she has to stretch out with her paws, doesn't she? So um, yeah, she's she's on a blanket. The blanket I had um, outside for her, I've just turned it the other way around so it's cleaner. And um, I've got another blanket in there to throw over her if she does get cold. It's um, I just checked the forecast. It's supposed to drop to um, around zero. Um, in the early hours of the morning, so if if she does get cold, I can just chuck that uh, that blanket over. I mean, you know, she's in Newfoundland, you know, <laughs> she's designed for the um, you know for the Arctic. I'm going to get things uh, sorted out and tidied up here around camp. Make sure everything is under cover. Um, that rain didn't really equate to anything earlier on. We did have a few more spots um, through the evening, but you know, it wasn't anything really, and we're not forecast for any, so I'm not that concerned, but I will just put everything under just in case and um, and just tidy things up before, before turning in. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.
morning. I, um, I slept pretty well. Woke up about uh, half past four, quite chilly. <coughs> That's because I was half out of my sleeping bag. So I, um, I covered Maggie up with that blanket and, um, and snuggled down into my sleeping bag and I was all right. My um, air mattress had gone down a little bit overnight as well. I think I might have a, um, a slow puncture in it. So I'm gonna have to take a little look at that. But no, slept, slept well. Got up this morning and uh, lit the fire and made a lovely cup of coffee. I um, recently bought a new coffee maker. It's a, it's a vintage one from Hungary. <coughs> Paid a fortune in uh, postage for it. <laughs> but um, it's great. You know, it's got it's got a clamp on the top, so you can um, so you can clamp it down. Uh, you know, clamp the lid down to create that pressure, and uh, a little spout that comes out the side, and you just put your cup underneath the spout, and it fills it up, and it's big. I guess it's the equivalent of like a nine cup, um, you know, espresso maker, like a mocha pot. So you get a good, decent size cup of coffee in the morning, a bit of rocket fuel to uh, get you going. Mm. Yeah, really nice. And the coffee, um, I want to thank Rob for that. Um, he sent this to me ages ago. It's, some, it's a clipper, like organic clipper, um, Italian roast coffee. Very nice too. Thank you, Rob. Um, I'm going to uh, get some get some breakfast on the go in a minute. <coughs> Having pancakes with some uh, bacon and sausage. Looking forward to that. Yeah, get some get some breakfast going and then think about getting things um, tidied up around here and, and, and packed down. This is my pancake mix. I just made this up at home. In here I've got plain flour, I've got milk powder, and I've got baking powder. So I'm just gonna tip that into my cup here to, um, to mix it. And because I've got milk powder in there, I can just add water. And then in here I've got an egg. I just cracked an egg into this Nalgene bottle at home so I didn't have to worry about cracking the shell. In it goes. Right, the sausages are done. So I'm just gonna transfer them into my uh, plate here. And then I can get on and cook the pancakes. I'm going to give Maggie a couple of these sausages and uh, some of the bacon and a pancake. <laughs> Not easy to cut up without scraping my knife on the plate.
That was good. <laughs> mm. Right, well, I'm gonna get things packed away, get this tent down, get things um, tidied up. Um, I'm not gonna put my fire out because I need that because um, I'm gonna be filming the video that you saw last week. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna need the fire for it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get everything packed away, get this tent down, get it loaded back in the Land Rover. And then I can, um, I can crack into doing a little bit more filming, which I'm quite looking forward to. Yeah, it's been lovely and a really nice camp. Yeah, beautiful weather as well. This morning is just stunning. I don't think there's a single cloud in the sky. Absolutely gorgeous. Birds are singing, really nice. There's a bit of uh, noise from farm machinery about, but you know, it's a busy, busy time of the year for, for farmers, I guess, you know, getting everything ready for the growing season and um, making most of good weather to do it in. Yeah. Yep, thoroughly enjoyable. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.